grab your popcorn and get your favorite blanket ready because you're going to be doing some insane binge watching this year. We're going to tell you the best Netflix shows that are coming out this year, starting with the peachy mother and daughter duo in Ginny and Georgia season two. Season one ended on a rather suspenseful note with Ginny running away with Austin on Marcus's bike. All of us were dying to know what happens next and the producers didn't keep us waiting long. Our favorite characters will finally return on screen with a little more spice and drama. We'll see how Jenny deals with finding out that her mom did some terrible things. While she may be justified, Jenny didn't see it that way. Add all this mother-daughter tension on top of being a teenager and Jenny's got her hands full. With both boy drama and friend drama, high school is not easy either. Find out how both mother and daughter deal with these new developments in the upcoming season, which was released on the 5th of January. Just like Georgia's criminal exploits, the next one is also a little on the dark side. Gear up, guys, for you. Season 4. It's the fourth season already? It feels just like yesterday I started binging this show. I gotta hand it to Penn Badgley. He can play one heck of a stalker. He even had me checking outside my window before going to sleep sleep at night. If you got addicted to this crazy serial stalker show just like me, then you'll understand all the hype. You is back with another season. More stalking, more killing, and more suspense. The last season ended with Joe murdering Love, and we'll see him trying to get a new beginning yet again. And with new beginnings, you gotta cover all the bad stuff. Posing as a college professor with some fancy new friends, Joe is trying to get his life going again. When you have a history of stalking and murdering and violent tendencies, and you just moved to a town where no one knows you, what could possibly go wrong? We're just going to wait and find out. Don't don't worry guys, this wait is going to be worth it because we also have the upcoming Bridgerton Season 3. We all know what that means, more gowns, more balls, and more romance. Seasons 1 and 2 swept us off our feet and we can expect the same from Season 3. This Regency era show isn't going to disappoint us. Just like the Julia Quinn novels, each season in the show covers the love story of yet another one of the Bridgerton siblings. If you were rooting for Colin and Penelope's love story from the beginning, then you can finally breathe a sigh of relief. All we know so far is how sadly poor Penelope had been crushing on him for so long, only to have her heart broken when she heard what he said about her. Now, Colin will try to earn back her friendship, but will the two find love? along the way? I can't answer that yet, but I can tell you that there will be more gossip and more drama. Along with all that, you can also expect to see an insight into the early life of the Bridgerton monarch in Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. This show will follow the life of Queen Charlotte while she was young and before she came to be the unique and extravagant character we saw in the show. If you were paying close attention to season two, then you probably probably noticed the relationship between the queen and her husband, and how we got to see a tiny glimpse of a different side of her. When the queen and Edwina started talking to each other, we realized there were so many things that we didn't know about the monarch. This short series will consist of just eight episodes, but the release date hasn't been announced yet. If the inside lives of monarchs fascinate you, then you'll be excited to know about The Crown Season 6. This show has managed to give us some juicy details about the real-life British monarchy. Starting with the early life of Queen Elizabeth, this show has been controversial from the start. Netflix added a clear description at the beginning that this show isn't completely based on real facts. But that doesn't stop our imaginations from going wild. We saw the life of Queen Elizabeth, her marriage, Charles and Diana's marriage, their children, and finally their divorce. Season 6 will show us the aftermath of their divorce. While you may know the actual events that took place, the show will probably have an interesting take on it, so you won't want to miss it. Speaking of real-life shows, there's another one that's loosely based on events that actually
actually took place. Kaleidoscope is a limited series that's partly surrounded by real-life events surrounding Hurricane Sandy. The first episode started airing on January 1st. The show is about a heist, but that's not the most interesting part of it. The timeline of the show isn't presented to us in chronological order. We can watch the episodes in any order without getting confused about the story. All we need to do is piece together the different information and make sense of it ourselves in the end. Sounds pretty cool, right? If you've already started the show, then you know what I'm talking about. This is a new style of viewing with just the ending and the beginning specified and the middle order up to the viewer. If this is your kind of action, then you'll love the next one too. We have the adaptation of one of our favorite games, Assassin's Creed. This is for all you gamers out there. Assassin's Creed was announced as a show before, but there were some delays in the production and we didn't hear much about it after 2020. Now the release has finally been scheduled for this year and we couldn't be more excited. The deal with Netflix includes several different series. The first will be a live action epic that mixes genres and the rest will be animated and anime versions of the books. While we don't know much about the release yet, we can look forward to something amazing this year. Although it's still in early development, there's a lot of hype surrounding it. And given how much the games are loved, there's no doubt that it'll be the same for the series. The announcement was made back in September 2022, but we haven't been told any other details yet. Before we end our video, the last show on our list is a bit on the steamier side, if you know what I mean. If you enjoyed Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3, then get ready for Sex Education Season 4. As the name suggests, the series is also meant to teach by showing how hard it is for teenagers to figure out their sexuality and try new things with it. Come on! Um, yeah! I'm guessing it's you. This is the part where you're supposed to look happy for me? I am happy, Eric. <laughs> But are you sure Adam isn't going to mess you around? I think he's still not comfortable. The teenage years can be tough. School, combined with puberty, and all the new changes your body is going through is never easy. This show gives an insight into teenagers as they struggle to make it through this awkward phase in their life. Season 4 was supposed to come out in 2022, but the production took a lot longer than expected, so it will probably come out this year, hopefully before summer, with some of the old old cast returning, we'll also get to see new faces. At the end of Season 3, Sex Education dropped a life bomb on the students by telling them that Mordell High was closing. We'll have to wait for Season 4 to find out what happens next. That's it for the best Netflix shows of 2023. See you in the next video.